I used to believe that it was the experienced people who changed the world. And in high school, I thought about this a lot. I was really passionate about a lot of global issues like refugee rights and income inequality and climate change. But there was always this question in my mind, this blank that I was trying to fill. What experiences did I need to actually create solutions for these huge global issues? And in high school, I thought the answer was quite simple. I thought I needed political power and po political experience because if I were a top global leader, I could get all of the government leaders to get together and implement these solutions. So I thought, oh, the answer is simple. I just need to be the Secretary General of the United Nations. And with that in mind, I went to university. I studied politics and international business. And gradually I figured, it's not just politics. Maybe I need to also have business experience. And so I set my sights on becoming one of the biggest CEOs of one of the world's top companies. Because then I could speak at these global forums, talk to global leaders, and even use my wealth to create the change that I wanted to see. But as I was applying to these jobs at these big companies, somebody gave me a call, this international climate change organization called 350.org. And they, they were trying to create these huge global campaigns to tackle climate change. And they asked me, can you help us execute in China? And I was like, you guys crazy? Like, I've never even heard people say China and climate change and campaigns and mobilization in the same sentence. But they were really serious. And I thought, okay, well, let's give it a try. So I went out and I worked with two of the largest youth organizations in China. And we decided to create three national campaigns. The first one was a national day of action where we got young people from across the country to create local solutions for climate change, like this trash collection competition that we hosted in Beijing. And all across the country, we had 300 actions held in the same day. And the second one we did was called the Great Power Race. And this was a university competition across India, China, and the US, where we got students to create these energy-saving projects in their universities. And we had 1,000 universities participate in this project. The last one we did was actually a huge ambition, which was to create satellite art. We worked with local artists to create these huge pieces of art, and we took pictures of them from outer space. So all in all, we did three amazing campaigns, and they were really pioneering. They were one of the biggest climate change campaigns that China has ever seen. We worked with 300 universities, and we engaged over 30,000 young people in creating new solutions for climate change. And our work got noticed. We got into local newspapers, we got into national television, and we also got coverage from international media who told the whole world about what we were doing in China. But after all of this, I went back to that question I had in high school. What experiences do I need to create solutions for the global issues? And I thought, well, I obviously created some new solutions and some really cool campaigns, but I didn't have any of the political experience or business experience. So what was it that allowed me to create these huge campaigns and these new solutions? And I realized it wasn't experience, but inexperience that allowed me to create change. Because one, inexperience helped me get crazy ideas. I didn't know what was possible or what was impossible. And so we just went, dreamt big, and went for it and made it happen. Second is that we knew we were inexperienced and we knew we needed help. So we were really open to asking for help. And really easily, a lot of political leaders, government leaders, business leaders, NGO leaders came on board and supported us in our vision. And lastly, because we were inexperienced, but so passionate, so motivated, and so committed, a lot of people not only were willing to help us, they were also really willing to share our stories and get more people involved in our campaigns. And so now we're thinking about our next ambition. How can we amplify the power of inexperience? The whole team is actually going to get back together and we're going to create an ambition that we've all been thinking about. Having every young person in China be empowered to create events and campaigns for causes that they really care about. So if you're a young person, an inexperienced person, I encourage you to join us. Embrace your inexperience and create something amazing that the world has never seen before. And if you're an experienced person, we encourage you to Put away your doubts, believe in us, and go out and support an inexperienced person to create something that they're truly passionate about. 
because sometimes it's the inexperienced people who change the world.